Maple Leafs hosting the Bruins game six, and the Bruins are minus 102 on the money line. The Leafs are minus 118. The over under, five and a half goals. The Bruins getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 260, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Leafs laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 210, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. It's supposed to be Swayman and Wall. Neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game. Head-to-head, the Bruins are 8-2. The road team has won the last four games that they've played against each other. The underdog is on a four-game winning streak. The underdog is 7-3 on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. Uh, Game game 2 and uh, game 5 were one-goal games. Uh, the under is hitting their last two. The under is 7-2-1, two, and one, and the under 5.5 goals is 7-3. and three. The Bruins won game one 5 to 5-1. Then the Leafs won 3-2. to two. Then the Bruins won the next two 4-2 to two and 3-1 to one in Toronto. And then the Leafs won 2-1 to one in overtime in Boston. So if this trend continues where the road team keeps winning and the underdog happens to be the road team, we'll see. I'm going to take the Bruins with the money line. I will take the Bruins getting the goals, and I'm going to go under in this one. I really thought they were going to eliminate them in Boston, but it's even more sweet to see the Canadian, the Maple Leafs fans probably set the, the streets on fire after they lose this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.